my name is Samina. Um, I pray better and solicitor at Oliver Fisher Solicitors. This is my colleague Stephen West, who is also a solicitor in the Probate and Wills Department. So Stephen, why is it important to make a will if you are married? Um, basically, if you've not made a will, um, your estate is divided in accordance with the intestacy rules. And under the intestacy rules, if you've got a fairly sizeable estate, it doesn't just go to a surviving husband or wife. A share of it will go to children, if there are any. It's important to, you know, if you want to benefit your spouse completely, it's important to make a will. Right, and what are the implications if you are not married? If you're not married, if you're um, living with somebody um, and one of you dies, there's no automatic entitlement to the estate for the surviving partner. They would have to go to court, potentially, to make a claim on the estate. Right. And are there any tax advantages if you are married? Well, the tax advantages um, are, are quite substantial for people who are married, in that uh, a married couple can give any amount they like between each other on death or either during their lifetime and it's exempt from inheritance tax. And that means that if you're married and you're, you haven't got a will and part of the estate is passing to children, that part of the estate will be liable for inheritance tax. And if you've got an estate where the main asset is perhaps an expensive property, you may well have to f be in the position of having to sell the asset to pay any inheritance tax due on that share. Okay, Samina, why is it important to make a will if you have children? So in a will, you can essentially appoint guardians who can uh, look after your children if, they part, if you pass away. So these can be family members, so when you pass away, they can be looked after. Uh, another reason why you have to make a will, or you should make a will if you have children, is if you have children who have uh, special needs or who have uh, a disability, uh, they can be protected by either giving them more money in a will or you can protect them by setting up particular types of trusts which can protect them financially or, or otherwise. Right, the, um, we've seen a big rise in sort of second families. Is there a way that you can protect children of the first marriage if somebody then remarries? Yeah, the first thing to bear in mind is the new spouse inherits first, so they take priority. But there are ways where you can protect the children of a previous marriage, and that's again by setting up particular types of trusts, and that will protect their, uh, their uh, financially. And again, that uh, for example, that could be done by a life interest trust. Mm, okay. Um, and what about if you've got no family at all? Well, if you have no family and you want uh, to make sure that your friends benefit or you may have a particular charity that you're fond of, then it's absolutely vital that you must make a will, otherwise there is a danger.